Hey boys, how are we doing? This is the Lazy Iron Man's Guide to Giant Seaweed. We're going to cover everything you need to know about where to farm giant seaweed, how to get spores, and how to get that sweet, sweet crafting XP for an Iron Man. Firstly, why do we want giant seaweed? Giant seaweed is primarily used for crafting XP through making molten glass. The reason giant seaweed is so valuable is it's worth six normal seaweed when combined with sand. This is especially powerful when you use the make glass spell. To get giant seaweed, first we need to grow it, and it can only be grown from two underwater patches. Now to get there, we need to head to Fossil Island, which requires Bon Voyage and 100 kudos. Sorry, Bone Voyage. Once you take the boat to Fossil Island, there will be a small rowboat just below you. You want to right click on this and click row to the north of the island. Once you're here, there'll be another small rowboat. Right click that and click row out to sea. This will take you to a tiny little island with just a bank chest and a rowboat. Finally, on this little island, we can right click this rowboat and click dive to access the underwater area. Now before we go underwater, there are a couple new mechanics when swimming that we have to take note of. When you are underwater, you'll notice instantly that there is a new bar telling you how much oxygen that you have left. If this runs out, you will drown. Now if you drown, you just get taken back up to the surface where the boat was, you don't actually die and lose your items. You can avoid this by having a fish bowl helmet and a diving apparatus. This will give you infinite air, but honestly, if you're just planting seaweed, you don't need that much time down there. One more slight niggly mechanic is that you'll need your hands free or else you'll drown in the deeper areas. These are the deeper areas. Again, if you do drown, it's not a big issue, so just ignore the warnings. Also, a quick fun fact on the side, if you have flippers, chuck them on because they make you swim a little bit faster. Now that we know where to plant them, we need to get some seaweed spores. Now there are two main methods of getting seaweed spores. There's the lazy AFK method, and there's also killing lobstrosities. Now the easiest and laziest method is simply standing underwater and waiting for them to spawn. Now they're on a bit of a random rotation, but this is great if you want to watch a movie or do some high alking on the side. They're pretty regular if you keep an eye out. Now if you keep finding that you're missing the spawns, you can also set up your rune light to give you an alert every time one of them has spawned. Another great reason to use rune light. The only other option is killing lobstrosities. These drop seaweed spores at a pretty good rate, and also they still have a random chance to spawn in their enclosure while you're killing them. But to kill these guys, you're going to need a special weapon you can use underwater. This will be either a trident of the seas or a brine saber. Once you have a good amount of spores to get you started, you'll need to plant them. Now every time you go to plant, make sure to keep out an eye for more spores spawning. Usually I'll pick up enough to replace the ones that I've just planted, so you only really need enough just to get you started on your daily runs. You'll want to use some ultra compost as this is going to increase your yield. Unfortunately, the magic secateurs do not affect the seaweed crops. Also a quick tip that I use, if you haven't been using this already on your farming runs, to speed things up, so you can actually click your seaweed crop on the little leprechaun and he will note them. Plant these with the seed dippers and 40 minutes later you can harvest. I usually just roll this into doing my birdhouse runs and make sure to try and do it at least daily. Before you know it, you have a huge supply of giant seaweed in the bank ready to be turned into crafting XP. And now finally, we want to turn this all into glass. Now the only way to really do this on scale for an Iron Man is by using the make glass spell. You're going to want to have completed lunar diplomacy and have access to the lunar spell book. Your inventory will be three giant seaweed and 13 buckets for sands, and of course your runes to cast. Now I have a, f a book of fire and an air staff, so I'm only spending the astrals for the spell, but it's not the end of the world. Sometimes the molten glass will overflow and drop onto the floor, so make sure to keep an eye out to pick it up. And of course, this is only half of what you'll need. You're also going to need buckets of sand. I'm thinking about doing a video on how to get buckets of sand. Let me know if this will be useful. Uh, in the meantime, if you've done some of your diaries, you can go to Bert and pick up your daily 83 buckets of sand each day. But that's everything from the Lazy Iron Man today, boys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.